they do have shields. They do have shields. So it is going to be a little bit more difficult for our archers to deal with them. Let's move my infantry in front here just to kind of protect them a little bit. And let's rush the fire cart. Rush it quickly. Otherwise, we're going... Yeah, there we go. Whew. Hello and welcome to Stronghold Warlords. This is currently part of the Steam Game Festival Autumn Edition. And you can actually play the game yourself too. This is a demo, so you can download it right away and begin playing it and maybe add the game to your wish list if you enjoyed it. Anyway, we have an objective here. We have to defeat the enemy lord, breach the enemy stronghold and kill the enemy lord. And our initial objectives are to collect some resources, capture three warlords and indeed survive. So let's play and begin our adventure in, well, quite obviously um, ancient... Uh, China, I believe it is. I think it is ancient China, but uh, yeah, this is going to be very interesting because I am not very good at the Stronghold games. Let me just tell you right now that that is indeed the case. So let me be a bit careful here. So we should probably get some rice fields up and running very fast because I have found in my uh, previous little attempts to play the game that rice is uh, somewhat necessary. And we're also going to be moving these guys over here. We're going to need to get a whole bunch of them. We have auxiliary axemen. So axemen are actually really good. Unfortunately, you do have a very limited amount of axes because you do need to make axes to, well, make those units. So for example, as you can see here, you do need axes. Thankfully, however, I do have a fire arrow cart, which is actually a uh, <laughs> a siege weapon of sorts and it does a huge amount of damage as you can quite clearly tell now if we can just make sure that we keep our units at an arm's length that is pretty much all i want to do i literally just want to keep these guys right here keep this fire arrow cart uh can i yeah there we go i've got them got them bound now to one and three so very easy for us to kind of maneuver them around and everything can we get another one of these Mm, no, no, we need 200 gold to be able to do that. So you gain gold over time. And uh, as you can see, I, I actually don't know how to get more gold, by the way. I think you probably need to build more houses or something like that. I really have no idea. As I say, this is pretty much one of the first Stronghold games that I've played that is not uh, like a spin-off or um, some other person's take on the Stronghold genre. So generally, I am not too familiar with how things work, but I do know a little bit about Age of Empires, and I feel like this is kind of a little bit similar to that in the way that the marketplace works. For example, the granary does allow you to purchase various bits of resources, and you can also sell resources too. And then obviously you have the armory here as well. You can buy armor, you can buy bows, and you can indeed buy axes, which I assume is the way that you primarily get resources to create additional axemen and stuff like that. So anyway, there's a huge contingent of enemies over here. We do want to try and murder them. Oh yeah, pressing the space bar. This is probably going to be kind of useful because this gives us a bit of an overview of our objectives. I already kind of know about this, so that's the reason why I didn't press it until now. Anyway, these are our lands. We need to defend them. This is the mouse warlord. Use him to gather more food. This is the pig. Use him to gather food and boost diplomacy. Ox, get, uh, use him to send you resources. And uh, the tiger warlord, use him to make your army stronger. And then you will be able to besiege the enemy warlord. Technically, I think these are all... I think these might be all optional, or maybe not. I'm actually not sure about that. But anyway, the point is... Hopefully we're going to do all right. And as a result, I'm going to get a couple of blowpipe tribesmen here. Well, maybe we should get some more axemen. Let's get some more axemen. Let's get some auxiliary archers as well. And uh, bear in mind, uh, can I actually... There's no there's no rally... Ah, there's the rally point. Ah, yes, the rally point is actually over there. So that's good. And units come out almost immediately, by the way. So there's really no waiting or recruiting time or anything like that. You basically just get them almost instantly. So I think it is more a case of just being able to supply those particular goods. And there's another fire arrow cart. That's going to be super, super useful. If we can get two of these, it's going to literally bombard the opponent so dramatically that I won't have to worry about, uh, well, 
anything, I think that they, these guys are just going to absolutely die almost instantly. So it's going to be good. There we go. Engineers have supplied us with fire carts. Yes, exactly. Uh, where are, where's my other fire cart? It seems to be waiting in here. I did place the, uh, the the rally point over here, but apparently that did not work. Okay, not entirely sure. Obviously, it's a demo, so you never know when. Um, this is actually, oh, wait a minute. I do know when this game is coming out. This game is actually coming out 26th of January, 2021. So huge oh, amounts of time remaining until uh, the game releases. So I assume, obviously, it's still a lot of work to go on it. But it's already looking great. I actually am already very much enjoying it. So let's have a look here. Houses, military buildings. What else can we get? Armor's workshop allows an armorer to produce armor using iron. And as an axe maker to produce axes using wood and deposit them in the armory. So you can see here a number of different things available. And rice is, of course, used as a food supply. So we probably want to build some more rice fields because that's kind of necessary. I have no idea, by the way, the efficient way of building these little uh, areas. And there's our stockpile as well. So that's obviously going to be very nice for us to keep around. So I'm actually just going to shoot both of these guys at the enemy's warlord. And we're going to get our army to be prepared for the attack. So let's see what happens. Oh, the damage. The damage that we were able to deal right there. Hopefully we're going to be able to eliminate the last of the remaining units. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't kill my own people, please. Thank you very much. Yeah. In a previous attempt, I uh, did actually kill my own people, and uh, we will not uh, we will not speak of that. Thank you. We will not speak of it. So let's actually attack the enemy warlord now, if I can. Uh, it seems like that's not actually happening. Yes, we might have a, a slight problem then. There we go. Oh, so much damage. There we go. Okay, yes, our warlords uh, our warlord will need defending. Yeah, of course, of course, they definitely will. And uh, we're going to have to move these guys over here, I think, and then attack the Warlord from this position. But it seems like my archers can actually fire at him from over in this way. So that's actually kind of interesting. I was not expecting us to be able to do that. Anyway, we are able to get some more auxiliary, uh, auxiliary units here. So that's pretty nice. And hopefully now my guys will be able to fire at the Warlord. Yeah, and there we go. Basically, I don't want to get into combat with him. I literally just want to stay as far away as possible. That's pretty much it. Okay, so what's this? Vegetable fields, pigs, rice. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the, the rice situation right now. It seems like rice is going quite nicely. And otherwise, uh, we're probably just going to get these guys out here and just kind of have them join the main army force. There we go. Let's just get them all together. And there's obviously formations and stuff like that as well. So you can have aggressive defensive stance. You have box formations, line formations, no formation. And then you can, of course, tell them to attack the ground, patrol, and so on and so forth. So if you want to have an automated defense, a roaming defense, then you can, of course, do that too. And we're actually not doing too badly. Oh, it seems like, aha, yes, the enemy warlord has captured the ox. That is actually um, kind of bad. <laughs> that is actually kind of bad. So I'm hopeful that we might be able to prevent them from doing a little bit more than that. I would like to get an axe workshop if at all possible. So uh, I would like to build more axes. I, I think we already have an axe workshop somewhere. We also have a wood camp. I'm actually wondering where the wood camp is even. Ah, here it is. Okay, so I can build another wood camp. I don't know where to build it, to be honest, because we don't really have that much wood pretty much anywhere. I mean, basically there. I mean, this is, I, I guess this is the only place that we really have. So I guess we'll just build one there and we'll see what happens with it. But uh, yeah, this warlord is almost dead. So we're just going to try to continue bombarding him as much as we possibly can. It doesn't really do that much damage. It is taking quite a bit of time. As you can see, the enemy is coming in here. We probably need to make a, a bit of a, a bit of a movement. So I'm actually going to move my units in and uh, try to do something because this is going to be a bit problematic. If we have a situation where the Warlord is not dead yet, then we're going to have some issues. Anyway, thankfully, we were able to do that. And now we can move our auxiliary archers and our other forces over here. Made good progress, but do not let up. 
Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, so now we have captured additional food and everything, which is fantastic. And the enemy's units are over here. We need to get these uh, these fire fire arrow carts over here as soon as possible. And now we can actually start building some other things in this area. So I'm actually going to get a couple of extra rice fields. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that right now. Let's not do that right now. Let's just actually concentrate on maybe doing some damage to the enemy forces because... They, they cannot be allowed to take other things. Thank you very much. Oh, no, never mind. Actually, you know, we, we don't even need to worry. We don't even need to worry. Let's just kill these guys right here, and then we'll retreat, because apparently he's already uh, he's already been killed. So I don't need to worry about him whatsoever. But thankfully, my fire arrow cards. Go, go, go. Oh, so much damage. Oh, we like it. We like it. Very good. Okay. So let's continue to just get some forces over here. And I'm gonna. Yeah, the rally point is over there, but it doesn't seem to be working. The rally point doesn't seem to be working right now, which is fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. And uh, yeah, what we do want to do is we want to try to wait a minute. What's going on here? Ah, yes. The warlord is coming in from from the south now, as you can see. So that might uh, that might pose a bit of a problem. Let me see if I... Do I have enough gold? Yes, I do have enough gold for another one of these. Ah, no, actually I don't. I'm looking at rice right now. I'm not looking at gold. Okay, so is there a way that I can get more gold? Let's actually have a look at that. Yes, there is, I believe. Iron, buffalo tether. Ah, we're going to need to sell some stuff at the marketplace, I assume. So let's sell some of this. So we can sell some vegetables. Yeah, we can sell some of this, I guess. It sells 10 at a time. That's pretty easy. For us to gain so look at that we're gaining massive amounts of bank right there that's pretty good and let's take these guys over here let's have them attack the warlord very slowly and surely and then we'll move our main army force over here to kind of supplement our others our backups and we're going to put them into kind of like a I think a defensive a defensive stance would be... Actually, you know what? Let's just have them hold ground for the moment. That, that's a fire arrow cart. This is going to be a bit problematic if I don't get one of my own over here. Let's have them attack that from here. Let's have my archers just try to weaken up the opponent a little bit as well. Because they do have shields. They do have shields. So it is going to be a little bit more difficult for our archers to deal with them. But we should have a pretty easy time of things. So let's move my um, let's move my infantry in front here just to kind of protect them a little bit. And let's rush the fire cart. Rush it quickly. Otherwise we're going... Yeah, there we go. Whew. Yeah, thankfully, it's got a good amount of uh, time for it to set up. It just takes a huge amount of time to set up. So pretty happy with that. And now we can actually move on to this warlord down here and that's going to work quite nicely for us at, at least i hope so and i think we have indeed captured that as well okay so this fire arrow cart is literally just going to continue murdering this there we go is he almost done yes he's almost done almost ah oh, so close so close okay so uh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah. My guys are fine. My guys are okay. They're being shot, though, which is definitely not something I appreciate. So let's continue to shoot them from here. And let's get the fire arrow guy to uh, bombard the enemy archery nest. That seems like a good idea. If he's actually going to be able to do it. Yeah, it's very difficult for archers to actually attack people up here, to be honest. So... Did it even hit? Yeah, it did hit them. Okay, that's great. Okay, so now let's just go over here. Let's just rush this uh, this archer to try and uh, get him uh, get him dead as soon as we possibly can. And we have our other. Oh, is he full HP again? What? How is he full HP again? Ah, well, I think we have indeed captured this, and this one is the mouse warlord. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, so we're going to need to capture... And this is the pig warlord down here. Okay, good to know. Right. Okay, so that means I should have a, a decent amount of people. So let's actually get a couple more here. And I do want to get a couple of axe workshops. So let's actually just build one of these over here. Should, can I... I can build two. 
Should I build two? Yeah, let's build two. Why not? Let's just go full out on the axes. And we'll sell a bunch of vegetables now as well because I actually have the opportunity to do so. And let's get a little bit of extra... A little bit of extra cash right there. And we'll sell the rice as well. Rice is doing fantastically, so we should be able to sell that pretty well. And everything else is not really selling for any difference. So we can pretty much just leave it the way it is. And our people are being shot at. I'm not a big fan of this. Thank you. That is not very nice of them. Okay, let's take the fire arrow cart over here and uh, maybe try to get them to do a little bit of extra damage. Okay, so there we go. Let's do, let's go for a, an aggressive stance now as well. I forgot to actually change them from defensive or holding ground to aggressive because obviously we do want them to actually attack the enemy a little bit, of course. Okay, let's actually just attack this real quick. Nice. Just take that out. We can actually attack his peasants as well if we want to. Okay, so this is this is indeed the warlord, I'm pretty sure. So we need to be a bit careful of of him, especially right now. But we might be able to move our auxiliary archers over here too. And we need to collect some more stone as well. So where's the stone? Let me have a look here. There's the, there's the quarry. Okay, must be placed on a stone deposit. Okay, well this is a stone deposit right here, right? Water Should be. Buffalo tether is required to bring uh, water buffalo the tether is also required. Okay, so let me place that. I mean, here, I guess. I actually have no idea when placed near a quarry or iron mine, you can place up to three. Oh, okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, as I say, I am really not very uh, well accustomed to how stronghold works. So obviously I'm... Uh, Trying to do my best here, trying to do my best. Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually upgrade things. So as you can see, we can now upgrade this guy with our diplomacy points. And we can request stone shipments, which I think I will indeed do because I do need that to be able to complete some of my objectives. So we're going to do that. And hopefully we'll gain some stone as a result. And how's this guy doing? The fire arrow cart's not really doing too much. Okay, so he sent two... Are you serious right now? He literally sent me two stone for 20 diplomacy points. That is actually kind of awful. That is actually kind of awful. I'm not a bit... I'm not pleased. I'm not pleased about that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is kind of hilarious. Okay, so how's the, uh, how's the ox cart doing? Is it doing okay? Because I... I'm, as I say, it allows a buffalo to transport iron or st stone to the stockpile when placed near a quarry or iron mine. I mean, it technically should do that. There's the stockpile over there. So, technically it should work. I can buy it, actually. I can buy stone, but it is going to be pretty expensive nevertheless. Hmm. You know what? Can I... Is there, an, is there a stone deposit somewhere else? Is this stone here? I don't think so. I think this is stone. And... I don't think there are any other stone deposits. I could sell some wood, but wood is pretty much necessary for what we need to do here. I guess I will just send in my auxiliary axemen then, I suppose, because yeah, I do have a number of backup units that could potentially be useful, but uh, we're just going to do this. And hopefully we'll be able to take him out and indeed capture this area. There we go. He's lost control of the pig warlord. Fantastic. And does that mean that I actually now have the ability to capture this? Kill him. Oh, no, now he's now he's regenerating? How, how did he regenerate? I have no idea. Maybe we have to kill him now. Are you serious? Get him. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's down. Okay, there we go. Mouse Warlord has been captured by force, but... Why? How is he? How is he restoring himself? Oh no! Oh dear! Okay, now they're coming in. Now they're coming in from from the uh, from the south here. This this is not good. This is not good at all. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of these guys. And you know what we need to do? We actually need to get some housing. So let's actually build a couple of uh, couple of houses right here. And that is going to be very important for us. I mean, quality, does, does quality actually matter? Total housing quality greater than your work account will boost popularity. A total lower uh, will lower it. Okay, okay, okay. That's good to know. So in other words, building actual houses rather than shacks is 
probably a better way to go, but obviously sometimes you're just not able to do that. I'm just going to sell all of this, or sell most of it at the very least, because we don't need that much food at the moment, although we are getting more units to join our uh, join our cause here, you know, from the peasants and so on. So generally we are probably going to need more food, but that's what the rice paddies are for, of course. All right, so let's have a look here. Okay, so yeah. So, uh, okay, so he, he actually recaptured this, which is actually kind of amazing because I actually thought to myself that I was doing all right, but apparently not. Okay, so let's upgrade the Warlord. I'm going to upgrade the Ox Warlord massively right now. Literally super, super hard. And let's actually request a shipment of iron because I have seen that iron is very good for a variety of reasons. And we have a lot of money right here as well now, so this is going to be kind of interesting. Let's try and get some more of these archers, let's get some more of these. And these guys are going to be kind of difficult, because they do have a fire cart, which is going to definitely be able to fire at this point. As you can see, massive damage being inflicted as a result. We are able to probably brute force our way through these units, or at least I hope we will be able to. Because at the moment, oh dear, yeah, at the moment they have a lot of archers, and that, yes, as you can see, they actually uh, prevailed. Which is very, um, very worrying to me, very worrying indeed, but um, I, I think, personally, this is, this is really cool, it's just I'm not very good at the Stronghold series, unfortunately. But if you would like to check out the demo, then you definitely should, it is completely free to download and play, like I'm doing right now. And if you like the game, then obviously you can add it to your Steam wishlist. I thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then by all means like the video. And uh, that is greatly appreciated. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.